Hi, I'm Darren. I'm Shelley. We've chosen early retirement and a life of freedom, adventure and the unknown. So for the next few years, we're going to be travelling around our beautiful country of New Zealand in our caravan and then at a later stage, some more overseas travel. So subscribe and come along with us as we embark on our next adventure. Good morning. Well, as you can probably see behind me, we're still at the Farlap Raceway here in Timaru, um, and New Zealand's still in lockdown level four, so um, it's going to stay that way until Tuesday, uh, midnight on Tuesday, and it's only Saturday morning at the moment, so um, yeah, we've still got a bit to go yet. A couple of horses going past. I've certainly woken up to a beautiful morning, but as you can see from the railing, it's um, yeah, a little bit frosty this morning. But it's going to be a stunning day, and you can see the snow out on the uh, mountains over here. Very nice. So I think today um, we won't have a lot to do. Won't, still can't really go anywhere, um, but I think today we'll uh, we'll just move the caravan from um, where it is here, and we'll go and fill up with water, and um, make sure that's all done, and then we might we'll come back probably to the same spot, but we might just move forward a bit more into this more into the sun for the early morning, and get a different view. But um, yeah. So this is where we are until uh, at least Tuesday, um, and I'm, I'm presuming the government will take it from level four to level three, which means we still can't move anyway. Um, we can't really go anywhere until level two. So um, we've just got to make the most of it really and hunker down here. But it's a good chance to get a bit of um, bit of maintenance done on the caravan um, we washed the ute yesterday for something to do so might give that a polish or something and um, yeah catch up on a few chores you know <laughs> what else do you do so it's actually a really nice evening this evening so we thought we'd um, fire up the barbecue and uh, make the most of it I think tomorrow's going to be um, a bit overcast in the morning but then hopefully fine again in the afternoon and then the next couple of days after that I think are both fine so um, yeah be good but yeah we so we fired up the barbecue and we'll just have some pork chops and things for tea Shelley's doing some um, roasties and things inside but I thought I'd actually take this time to actually give you a bit of an update on the ute as well um, since we've been uh, in the South Island, um, there's been about probably three times where we've nearly got stuck, and once when we actually did get stuck. Um, it's it's just that they've had a lot like a lot of rain down here in different parts, and um, a lot of the park over properties that you go to are just like a, a paddock on a farm or something along those lines, and. Um, with the road tyres that came with the ute from brand new you don't have to um, 
you, you know you can imagine getting a bit of rain on just just here um, with the road tyres they just couldn't cope with it um, once you've got the caravan on the back which is getting up to sort of two and a half tonne um, trying to get going in the morning or something and you just sit there so um, and the one time we actually did get stuck um, we couldn't go forward or backwards uh, even with the diff lock on and um, I ended up having to let the back tyres right down to actually get out and we managed to back back out again um, but yeah only just we were very close to needing a tow um, so what what I've done um, the tyres were getting down a bit anyway um, but we've replaced them re replaced the two back tyres um, with an all-terrain tyre so um, I'm certainly not uh, worried anymore about getting stuck they're um, they're really good I mean I'll show you the front tyres that, that there is what we had on the back except they're a little bit more worn than that because um, obviously with the towing they sort of get down a bit um, yeah so that was the same same as those there on the back and you've only got to spin the tyre once and it's blocked up with mud and uh, doesn't go anywhere where these you can see these are they're actually the same tyre they're Bridgestone Jeweler but these are the all-terrain and the front ones are the highway terrain um, so yeah I'm pretty sure now with with those on there and if necessary the diff lock in and yeah I don't think we'll be getting stuck anymore which will be really nice <laughs> plus if we go up to um, Tekapo which is where we are looking at going at some stage after here when the lockdown's finished and all the rest of it um, we might encounter a bit of snow and um, I'd feel a bit better with um, with a bit grippier tyres on the back uh, and those sort of situations too so yeah so anyway we'll enjoy a barbecue tonight and um, and see what tomorrow brings Good morning, another beautiful day here in Timaru, I think it's going to be up to 17 degrees today so um, it's going to be really nice, as you can see I'm the only one in the grandstand here but um, I thought I'd bring you up here this morning for a different perspective on uh, where we're staying and so you can see um, the actual Farlap Raceway out here They've obviously got the track for the buggies or whatever they call them. Um, well, the harness racing, isn't it? Harness racing. And then outside the, the actual horse racing there. And then um, on the um, dirt track around here, this is where they exercise the horses each morning. So we often wake up, probably most mornings actually, we wake up to uh, horses galloping past, which is quite nice yeah so as it's going to be such a nice day I thought um, I might go for a bit of a ride today um, I won't go into town um, but there's a, a bike track which goes straight past the raceway here and goes out to uh, to Pleasant Point and further on from there I think um, and then it goes the other way also back into into Timaru itself but um, as we're still in level 4 lockdown I don't think I'll go in there I might find myself in a bit of trouble <laughs> don't think we're supposed to be biking around town um, but I'll take you in there when it drops to level 3 um, which actually could be a while off yet um, they've um, found another 20 odd cases I think so I think we're up to about 72 cases in New Zealand at the moment which is not looking good for us to drop um, levels so um, we may be stuck here for another couple of weeks yet 
never mind, you just gotta go with it, don't you? You can't do anything about it. Um, yeah, so we'll go for a bike ride out towards Pleasant Point. I'm not sure how far we'll go. Um, and it's all, I think it's all gravel track all the way out there, so whether it's gonna be too noisy to be filming or not, I'm not sure, but we'll see if there's anything interesting to film. Um, and I'll take you along. Yeah, so oh, there's a couple of horses out there now. He's just running them around behind the vehicle. But yeah, we'll um, we'll go for a bit of a ride anyway, and uh, see what the rest of the day brings. through to Pleasant Point. And you can see the stunning, stunning old pub and Elegans Railway Hotel. Isn't it beautiful? Obviously been uh, lovingly restored. Yeah, so it's only, what are we, 13.8 kilometres from uh, the Far Lap Raceway, so it's not all that far, it's probably um, maybe 20 kilometres, 19 or 20 k's outside of um, Timaru on the road that goes to Fairley and Tekapo. But yeah, nice little place. Beautiful old looking town hall, 1928. Oh, well, I guess we'll start heading home again. But yeah, certainly really nice to get out and um, get a bit of exercise. <laughs> 